AWS app config. So this is part of your system manager. It makes it easy for a customer to quickly, safely and configure, validate and deploy feature flags and application configuration, right? Apart from the application programming, application programming updates or a program deployment. So in addition to that, we also deploy certain configuration and feature flags, right? So you can do that AWS app. Uh, you can do that with the help of a AWS app config service, right? As you can see, it's a part of your system manager, which it makes it easy for a customer to quickly and safely configure, validate and deploy your configuration changes. The, the configuration which is related to application, not I'm talking about the infrastructure app code, uh, not the infrastructure configuration. I'm talking about application configuration. You can use the application configuration and if you want to deploy any new feature flags and application configuration, you can make use of app config. So your feature flag and configuration data can be validated syntactically and semantically in the predefined pre-deployment phase and can be monitored and automatically rolled back if an alarm that you have configured is triggered, right? So you can make application changes safely, right? You're not we're not doing a code changes. Let's say there are certain libraries and the dependencies and the packages you need to change or a configuration of the code you need to change. In that case, uh, your application changes can be done safely and it will avoid error in your configuration changes and you can deploy your changes across a set of targets quickly and control the deployment of change across your application, right? So here what it is you can do in a pre pre environment or pre deployment phase and can be monitored and it can be automatically rolled back if there is any, any error or an alarm triggered and post that you can go and deploy that in your deployment phase and you, you will be able to avoid the error in a configuration changes. So what exactly AWS config uh, helps in it AWS config will help us simplify the following tasks, right? So these are tasks which we'll be doing in our uh, application changes. One is the configure, right? S source source your configuration from S3 or an config hosted configuration or a parameter store or a system manager document store. And you can use an AWS code pipeline integration to source your configuration from Bitbucket and other AWS services. Whatever the, wherever you are choosing a configuration so that you can use that source your configuration in various services here and from that you will be able to deploy it into your application. So while deploying application configuration a simple typo could cause an unexpected outage, right? If there is any changes in your configuration, it will cause a lot of a uh, uh, lot of issues. Prevent errors in production system using AWS config validator. So validator will provide a syntax check using a JSON schema or a semantic check using an AWS Lambda function, right? You can do a JSON uh, check or a semantic check to ensure that your configuration deployed as intended and configuration deployment only proceeds when the configuration data will valid, right? You can set up a validator before deployment and configuration deployment will only proceed when the configuration data is valid and uh, so you can source your configure you can also validate your configuration changes by setting up a setup using a json validator or a semantic check right and post that once that is validated then only the configuration once see once only if that particular validation is there right the configuration syntax it does that should not change only when that is validated then only the deployment will proceed so in addition to that you will be able to deploy and monitor so you can define a deployment criteria and rate control to determine how your target is going to retrieve the next configuration. You can do a rate controller as well to determine how your target is going to retrieve the new configuration and AWS app config deployment strategies to you can also use a deployment strategy set a deployment velocity deployment time and the big time, right? So you should be able to uh, define your deployment criteria once you validate you can see how it can be deployed to determine how your target retrieves the new configuration when you have multiple target how they're retrieving a new configuration and you can set up a deployment strategies the velocity of a deployment when you need to deploy and big time you can monitor each deployment proactively to catch an error using a aws config integrated with an amazon cloud watch right monitoring is also available and if aws config encounters any error it will automatically roll back the deployment to minimize the impact on your application, right? So this is our uh, app config help you to do a configuration deployment of your application in a very programmatic manner. So AWS app config can help you in the following use cases, right? It can help you in application choosing. So introduce changes carefully to your application that can be tested with the production traffic, right? You can uh, the traffic, whatever the uh, configuration changes, you can introduce them carefully so that they can they can be tested uh, for your production traffic. You can do a tuning as well, and accordingly you can release it. 
feature toggle should turn on new feature that requires a timely deployment such as product launch or an announcement right so there are new features like product launch or a product announcement so if you want to turn on any new feature that require a timely deployment you can do it on a periodic basis as well so you can also allow a list of premium subscribers allow allow premium subscriber to access a paid content right for example let's say in your uh, particular application you want to say let's say simple example is your is your like your netflix right so netflix if you if you if you open on netflix it will just show you the list of movies or it will just show you the uh, movies which got recently released but only if you are paid you will be able to access the content right similarly the other application like disney or star or any other application uh, if, if you want to uh, access uh, allow the access to a user only during the only only if they are paid right that is where you can use allow list in the app config and it reduces the stress on your application when a dependency or other external factor impacts the system right now all the other uh, applic- uh, configuration changes or any dependency file or a package are modified so it will not stress on your application because it, it has been managed separately using app config but a dependency or any other, uh, other uh, external impact system impacted so it will it will make sure the isolation is uh, isolation is in place so these are the cases of app config so app config is basically comes under a system manager but this is one of the service which is used for your configuration deployment so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if in case you missed upon any concept and if you want to dive deeper to any concept then we have something really 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 special for you we have our free class on aws devops for beginners certification along with some demo in this free class you'll be learning about why learn devops and on aws cloud what is aws devops who should be learning about it ci cd pipelines you'll be getting a demo you'll also be getting some hands on labs and job opportunities as well so in order to register for this free class all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash aws devops 02 and after that you'll be seeing this kind of interface you just have to click on book your free seat now and Add your event state according to your availability, enter your name, your email address, your phone number and click on yes save my seat. Moving ahead you'll be seeing this kind of URL on the extreme right. Save that URL, add it to your calendars, save it and I will see you in the free class. Till then keep learning.